Um, this is going to be the next one for a Pisces. The question was, does anyone like me? Well, here's the thing. That, I can take that and I can use that in any way. Or not really in any way, but I can use that to read and understand the energies that are around right now. Does anyone like me? Well, I can say right now you're feeling very lost. You're feeling very hurt. You're feeling very bothered. Betrayed even by some people. That's fine. Are you going to stay in that energy? I ask you. Are you going to heal from hurt? Or are you just going to stay hurt and be broken? Okay. You're a Pisces. You're very emotional. You have water. You have water. You have lots of water. You're very intuitive, though. You can, you're can. you also very, you're a social butterfly, you're a people person, you love to be a social person. But there are times when you want to be alone. You know, and lately those times have been more so than otherwise. Um, that's alright. Everyone needs to have time for themselves. And... The thing about Pisces is sometimes they take too much time away from everybody, and so they get stuck. They end up falling into a emotional backdrop that just consumes them beyond belief. Um, they're showing me a very sad person, depressed internally it doesn't really sh be shown to the rest of the world but it's there. Um, let's see what these say this is the past here temperance okay fine I'll take that this is what you're doing right now this is the energies around you. Um, temperance. This is the angel of um, meshing things. Okay. Um, I need a keyword for this. Living in harmony. The ebb and flow of life. Balance. You know. This is mixing and melding things. And, and you see the fire here. You see the water. A, he a foot in the heavens and a foot on the earth. That's what you're trying to do right now. You're trying to really balance things. This is also Sagittarius. This is being a dynamic force, an energy moving towards something, getting to the point, you know, and really working to create something. Okay. Um, this is in the past. This is what's going what was going on in the past this is that energy there the next one the world wow two majors right next to each other two major arcana cards right next to each other the world you're not quite there yet all the elements are around you trying to guide you there um but now they're showing me a stop sign okay so i think that you've stopped that you've kind of stopped there. You've stopped believing that you're not quite there yet, that you feel you are, and that there's, that the, uh, there is nothing more of a greater potential. You know, I'm, I'm sorry to say, or I'm happy to say there is. There is. There is always greater potential. You know this. Because this is moving near present here. Wow. This is huge. This is huge. Temperance, the world, and the sun. All three of them. Three major arcanas, all of light. Right? The sun, nurturing energy, success. <coughs> in, the near in the near past, you've been trying to figure out what you want to do. You've been trying to figure out where you want to be going. You've been trying to figure out what it is that you need to be doing. And you've been very successful in your present. Okay? You've, you were, um, what is it? 
staff member of the year or worker bee of the year, whatever it is that you you were of the year of something. Okay, you were. That's great. That's a very honorable thing. It's very. That's a lot of success. Um, you've had a lot of successes, but they're they're showing me these successes that you've had. And, but the, what they're doing is they're fading them in my in my mind's eye. So that's telling me that you <clears throat> you are. Um, You're diminishing the greatness that they are. Okay, does that make sense? You're you're diminishing their greatness, the greatness of them. You're diminishing them. You're making them feel second. You're making each one of these situations second rate to something bad, you know, or whatever it is. You're not seeing them for exactly how good they are, and they're very good things. They're getting you where you need to be slowly, very slowly, in the near future. Mediation of the mind. Aquarius, fixed air, being stuck in one way, being stuck in place. Um, this is swords. Swords are not are not very happy cards, okay? Near future is gonna be very tough for you. Because this is mediation with the mind. This is travel over water. This is travel through emotions and for the person that you are you're not a very you're not very good with the emotions they're very hard for you you don't like the finality of death you don't like you don't like things that can hurt other people you're very you're a very watery person and your emotions get hurt very easily and that's okay and that's understandable the thing is this is mercury this is communication um, right now we have mercury in retrograde so a lot of the universe is saying, go within, take journey by water, listen to yourself. And we're also talking about sixes here. Sixes is mediation. Mediation and reconciliation with the self. Mediation and reconciliation and understanding those things. Taking the mask off, because this person's wearing a mask here. And they're traveling by water. You know, they're, they're embracing the suck that is their emotions. And they're putting light in the darkness of them. Okay, you're getting there, and it's going to be the next coming, this near future. There's going to be something that really tests your emotions and really tests your your um, your um, abilities as a person. And that's fine. That's a lesson. Um, see, so that's why I say when you ask me the question, does anybody like me? There's a lot more going on. There's a lot more energies in here. You know, there's mediation. What's going on right now is the outside world is very successful. The outside world is a lot of mixing of the energies, you know, not being quite there to where you need to be. And then at the same time, we are, you're mediating with one, you're negotiating with yourself what's best for you, what you need to do, how you're going to get there, those types of things. Okay? That's good. It's not easy. In fact, it's fucking heart. Um, I, I'm going to look at a keyword just for the six. Um, declaration. That's the other thing. It's declaration. You know, you, you go within and you mediate yourself. You mediate with yourself and you say, okay, this sucks. I don't like it. I don't want to do it anymore. Yes, you've declared that you do not want to do it anymore. You've declared that it sucks. Great. How about you declare that it sucks, and then you declare yourself to be something greater than the suck. That's what you need to do. That's how you mediate. That's how you negotiate with oneself. Six, as a number, is mediation and reconciliation. Reconciling with the past. Reconciling with emotions that, or feelings or events that are plaguing your present and will in eventually plague and fuck up your, fu your future. Okay. Forgiveness is not for you, or for the, for the other person, it's for you, and that's what's important to note here. You reckon that's the reconciliation. Mediation is, you know, I didn't like this, but I like this. We'll get rid of this and we'll keep this. Um, I understand this about me, I don't understand that about me, so I'm going to go learn about it real quick. You know, um, whatever it is, okay?
Now, the other thing, the declaration. When you declare yourself something, you become it. Fine, if you're going to declare yourself to be a bum and live, you know, in a in a unstable environment and be bothered and hurt and whatever, fine, you're going to stay that way because misery likes company and that's what you're going to attract to you. But if you declare yourself to be that strong, independent, and courageous woman that I know you are, that's what's going to come to you. Don't become... Now, the other thing is don't become so egotistical about it. Uh, a strong, courageous person keeps those things to themselves. Instead of talking about them all the time, they exemplify those things. They live those things. They don't talk about it, but they lead by example. If you want to ever be a leader, you need to learn to follow. And the best way to start following, because the easiest person to follow is yourself. Because you know every move. You don't know your leader's every move, but you know your every move. Okay? Let's move into the future here, the far future. Wow. This is going to be very tough for you. Five of Swords, shit hits the fan. You know, and this is a dichotomy here. You know, five, six. Um, five of Swords is defeat. <coughs> Aquarius again. But this is Venus here. An emotional defeat. It's going to be very hard for you. Um, you need to take up the sword now. You need to take up the sword. And you need to go through it. Now, it's reversed. It's not a true defeat. You are never truly defeated. The mind is never truly defeated. If you are truly defeated, you would be dead. That is a true defeat. Okay? But you're not. You can always rise above things. You can always move forward. As long as you take up the, uh, take up the sword of justice and righteousness and right, and you wield it. You make your destiny. You make your path. Um, the last one. Wow. That's beautiful. I love how this works out here. Um, we go from all this mixing and melding and molding of things, embracing the successes that we have. And then we go into this near future mediation shit. That it's all emotional here. This mixing and, and getting rid of and balancing it out. And then look, we come to the ten of pentacles here, the ten of coins. Um, our earth. This is beautiful because this is, you know, complete nourishment. This is earth plane here, number 10. Okay. This is the fulfillment of earth. This is reaping what you sow. And what you sow is very good. This, If you really mediate, you know, you can mediate very well by writing, singing, Taking time for yourself, going on a little vacation just for yourself. You don't have to go out of town or anything. You can just rent a hotel room for the night. That's fine. That's taking time for oneself. Sitting in the sauna, sitting in the jacuzzi, whatever. Anyways, you can do all that. That's a little vacation. And look what you look what you sow. You you sow a very well balanced, structured, uh, confident individual. You structure very well nurtured energies, okay? But it all goes back to, you know, going within now. Going because there's two reversals here. You need to really go within. You need to understand what a real true defeat is, and know that your mind and heart can never be truly defeated because they're still beating and they're still functioning as living organs. And once you've learned to master that, this is what you get. You get a very well structured, nurtured, well stabilized energy. When you ask me, does people does anyone like me? You're asking a question that is involving someone who is hurt. Someone who has dealt with betrayal. Someone who is trying to understand things and mix the energies. 
and mold them and someone who is not quite understanding the successes that they do have in their life and embracing them for what they are as great successes instead of diminishing them okay and then you have that mediation we're always growing and evolving this is evolution here you're gonna go through evolution it's gonna suck it's not gonna be great it's gonna hurt fine understand it as a lesson that's to be taught and then the final outcome the big shebang of it is, you know the the greatness that can come of it is so long as you take that time just to, to take the steps to take that energy and to understand it so that is my advice for you and I hope everything goes well